Hello dear friends of the bass and welcome to my basement. I'm Toby and this is the new Harley Benton MV4 MSB short scale bass. Let's hear it! So, this is the second edition of these bases. The first edition came out, I think, about one and a half years ago and they sold out pretty quickly because they were uh, pretty good. There are some changes in this new edition. There are some new models, five strings, a uh, P bass with just a split coil pickup, some other colors, parchment pickguards on the light colors. There are a few differences, so let's uh, go into the details. The first difference is even obvious in the model names because in the first edition they were called the MV4 Goto bases uh, because they had Goto tuners and I must say this is a downgrade uh, in the new edition. We have uh, no name tuners. They look to be pretty lightweight. Uh, I'll probably take one out and uh, weigh it but they are not great tuners I think. They hold the tuning quite well but they don't feel good when tuning. They all feel different. They feel like they have a lot of play in it. Not a great feel. I don't think these are great tuners. Another difference on the neck is the truss rod. We now have a spoke wheel adjustment at the heel of the neck, which is, in my opinion, a huge upgrade from the Allen key adjustment at the headstock. So this is really great. Other than that, the neck feels pretty good. I wanted to say the thread work is pretty good until I cut myself on this neck. There was one thread on, with a pretty sharp end on the top side and I cut myself on that. So the thread leveling is quite good. You can get a pretty comfortable action, though the setup it came with was not exceptionally good. It was pretty high. Looking at the body, there is a big difference, which the Mustang style base on the first series was seriously lacking, the pickup selector. On the first edition you just had a master volume and both pickups were always on which is of course possible but doesn't make too much sense. So uh, now we have a pickup selector. It is not that common on basses. Usually you have two volume knobs or a volume and a balance port but here we have a pickup selector and it works and we can uh, use the pickups separately or both on in the middle position. Then the pickups are different. On the first edition we had uh, Roswell Alnico pickups. Now we have these HBZ custom wound pickups. Yeah that's just I think a fancy name on some kind of low price pickups. They sound okay I think. I don't really have something to compare it to. I may put the Roswell pickups in here. I have them lying around. Uh, please tell me in the comments if you're interested in that. It looks like there's black paint in the cavity of the bridge pickup, which could mean shielding, which would be really an upgrade from the first edition. There um, was only a bit of tinfoil on the back of the pickguard, which uh, practically means no shielding at all. Um, I still had some noise with this but not particularly bad. Also it's a single coil according to the specs in the bridge position which will always pick up a bit of noise if you're in a noisy environment. Other than that the bridge is pretty much the same as in the first edition. We now have Harley Benton engraved in the bridge. We also have the Harley Benton logo in the neck plate though um, as usual we have this ugly plastic washer underneath there. Considering the build quality I'm a bit disappointed in these bases. They don't quite reach what I'm used to with Harley Benton like uh, the PJ of the first edition had a really nice build quality. 
also my PB50 is really nice. These are somewhat below that. It's no huge things and it's considering the price still good, but yeah, sharp fret ends and some finish issues. The neck pocket on this one has also some finishing things, although the fit seems quite nice. We have kind of a dent in the body here on the neck pocket on the treble side so not perfect it's i think at this price point good enough but maybe some later production runs will have a bit of a better quality control and better build quality let's hear a bit more i like the sound of the bridge pickup very much it's not as bright as on the pj i think the short scale combined with the bridge pickup is really nice sounding and it's also cool if you dial the tone back a bit in this position. So whereas the bridge pickup is really good for uh, a funky tone, the P pickup solo has quite a bit more low end to it. So this green base is actually the second one I ordered. I have the other one here. The first one I ordered was this pink one, shell pink. And when it arrived I wasn't really convinced with the color. It's a bit different to the shell pink of the Squire Rascal, uh, which I like very much. This is kind of a bit more grayish and yeah, I wasn't really sure if, if um, I like this color. So I ordered the green one and I like the green one very much. There was also some more build quality issues on this and these were just, I think uh, it looks like they, they put the base together in the final assembly in quite a hurry. Um, I noticed there's a gap between the pickguard and the body and as I look closer, I saw some wood chips or wood dust stuck between the pickguard and the body. So probably they drilled the hole and they didn't swipe off the, the dust from, from drilling the hole. And now it's stuck between there. And that's just, that takes seconds to do right. Same thing with the bridge. That doesn't really sit flush on the body, especially here on the treble side. And it's the same issue, there's wood dust or wood chips uh, stuck between the bridge and the body, probably from drilling the holes. That's not great. It, it would be an easy fix, but since I didn't like the color that much, I decided to order another one and this one is probably going back. On the neck pocket, Though this one is better than the green one, so they are both not perfect. Also considering the weight, this one is a bit heavier than the green one. This one weighs 3.73 kilos and the green one weighs 3.55 kilos. So it's a bit lighter and you can feel it. I think they are both not super heavy, but for this kind of small short scale bass, they are heavier than I expected, uh, especially the pink one. So that's it for today on the Harley Benton MV4 MSB short scale bass. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If so, please hit that like button. I'll do a more detailed video on this one and obviously I'll take it apart. If you have any questions or any things you want me to look at in the next video on this bass, please tell me in the comments. Until then, thank you for watching and see you the next time.